Shepard, though, with the rebound as she drives in on the left side, pull up jumper, and it bounces in for two. Low, and then now up top to Avery. Left elbow puts it up, but it's nothing but net. Tied to Alford. Quick pass down low to Avery. Won't go. Battle for the basketball as Alford picks it up and banks it in. To the far side to Jackson, moves it up the court to Kirkwood. Looking to beat the Skyhawks. She drives in on the right side, and it rolls in for two. And now has four points. But it's Humphreys with it now on the inside part of the... Elston splits the defenders, drives in, lobs it outside to Humphreys, and she knocks down the 10-foot jumper. It's on the shot clock as Jackson comes to a halt at the top of the key, works it inside to Johnson, and knocks down the hook shot. Still dribbling as she cuts back to her left side. They find Johnson left baseline for three, and she knocks it down. Now to Avery on the left baseline, passes it inside to Johnson. She drives it on the right side and rolls it in. Bounces it to Johnson on the left wing. Dribbles out of the trap in the middle of the lane on the far side and lays it up and in. Start of the uh, second half. Morehead State working the ball outside. Now Jackson drives in middle of the lane and sinks the jumper. What? Fires it down to Johnson on the left baseline. Drives in, turns, fires it to Avery, and she knocks down the 10-foot jumper on the left side. Moorhead State works the ball outside the three-point line. Jackson down to Alford, left baseline for three, and it's in. Left passes it back to Jackson, top of the key. Dribbles out of troubles. They work it down low to Elston. Baseline, three, and she hits it. But Kirkwood looking to pass. It finds Alford, top of the key, one second. She lays it up and in at the buzzer. to Humphreys, almost stolen away. Humphreys somehow gets it back, puts it up, it won't go. Alford is there and makes the putback. Points as Moorhead State finds Kirkwood on the near side. Now Alford on the right baseline, weaves in and out of traffic, hands it off to Humphreys and she banks it in for two. Sit back to Kirkwood. She now takes it to the free throw line, kicks it out to Johnson, left baseline and she knocks down the 10 foot jumper. Traffic takes it to the top of the key. Under a minute and a half remaining. Finds Jackson, left wing for three, and she knocks it down from the left baseline. Free throw line, kicks it out to Grant, and then finds Elson, top of the key, drives in, and it rolls in for two. And that will be it. There is the buzzer, final score, 82-64. UT Martin comes away victorious. Coach Greg Todd, you guys, tough loss today to Probably the best team in the OVC, arguably record-wise, UT Martin, 82-64 final score today. Gus played right with them, though, for most of the first half and into halftime, trailed a little bit there, then come out in the third quarter. They made a little bit of a run there at the end of the third quarter and got away from you guys. What was uh, what was the difference today? What made UT Martin just uh, have that leg up on you guys? Yeah, we never solved their 1-3-1 one, one zone very well. They're very long. They do a good job in it. It's a short turnaround. Obviously, we spent most of our time this week prepping for SEMO. So it was a tough uh, tough turnaround one day. Uh, but we did come out, I thought, and with good focus, good energy. And they're a good team. Chelsea Perry's one of the best players in the country. Maddie Waldrop today uh, had, had a big game. So uh, uh, we, we did some positives. But I think the turnovers was, was the, big, the big negative. But we did. Uh, play hard. We got up uh, basically as many shots as they did. We out-rebounded them. Free throws were pretty even in terms of number taken. It was just uh, uh, not as efficient scoring the ball. And then uh, had we have taken care of the ball, we would have gotten up several more shots and had a, had a much better chance of keeping it tight. 17-9 and nine for Tamaya Offer today. But Ellie Jo Johnson, I thought she played really well, played a season-high minutes and scored a season-high points for you guys. She gave you guys a lot of energy today, it seemed like Ellie Joe did. Yes, she had a, a fan following here today, and she played up to it. I wish they would come every game because she uh, she played her best game of the year, no no question. And Tamaya is uh, getting there. She uh, makes shots for us and works hard, had nine rebounds uh, in addition to her 17 points. But uh, just too many uh, turnovers in key spots, and uh, uh, just got to get uh, – Continue to improve and got uh, eight games, four weeks left. Uh, got some tough battles ahead.
Coach Todd, thanks for uh, stopping by. The Eagles will hit the road next week to take on SIUE and EIU.